1952, an author named Ray Bradbury published a short story called A Sound of Thunder. In it, a hunter named Eccles pays $10,000 to travel with Time Safari, a time machine company that takes hunters back to the time of dinosaurs and allows them to hunt the T-Rex. The company guarantees nothing, neither your safety nor your return, and there are strict instructions and expectations for how the hunters should behave once they travel back in time. When they travel 60 million years back in time, they notice the path that has been laid by the company. It floats 6 inches above the earth and is the only path that the hunters should travel upon. They cannot touch anything during their stay in the past, and they are only to shoot when told to. Interrupting any of the natural processes in the past could have irreparable repercussions for the future. Step on a mouse, and you leave your print, like the Grand Canyon, across eternity. They're very careful with leaving the past just as it was supposed to unfold. The T-Rex that they were supposed to kill was going to be crushed by a tree only seconds later. It was going to die anyway. Eccles, however, is terrified and runs back to the time machine through the jungle and waits for the others. But once the rest of the crew returns, they notice the mud on Knuckles' boots. Against their better judgment, they allow him to return with the crew back to present day. When they exit the time machine, the crew checks in with the man behind the desk to see if everything is okay, and the man tells him it is. The man, however, is acting a bit different from before they left. There's a strange smell in the air, it's faint, but it's there. The sign on the wall is different, the words were spelled differently. Eccles sits down and checks every inch of his body for things he could have ruined. And on his boot, caked in the mud, he finds a butterfly. Beautiful and dead. The death of a single butterfly has somehow resulted in the future being changed. He cries out in disbelief, begging to return to the past and somehow undo what he's done. He sits down with his eyes closed and senses a crew member enter the room. With big bombs, huge earthquakes, or other large-scale events. But it has now been realized that this is a very old-fashioned view held by people totally out of touch with modern thought. The things that change the world are the tiny things. A butterfly flapped its wings in the Amazon, and subsequently a storm ravages half of Europe. Paraphrased a little bit is a quote from a novel named Good Omens. What it's talking about is the butterfly effect. Sensitive dependence on initial conditions, more commonly known as the butterfly effect, is the idea that a small change in any situation could have huge implications later on down the road. The idea was coined by Edward Lorenz in the 1950s. Lorenz was a meteorologist who was searching for a means of predicting the weather. He was conducting experiments with various numbers to try and model a weather prediction. He did a previous experiment with an initial condition of 0.506127, six significant digits, a little bit overkill he thought, so this time his initial condition was only 0.506. Three significant digits should be fine. So we left the room to get a cup of coffee and came back to something drastically different from what he had previously. At first things seemed normal and they seemed to follow the first experiment one to one, but after a while they started to diverge and looked like completely different models. A 0.03% difference in values had enormous long term implications. It may seem insignificant, it's just a model, right? Well, Lorenz had actually just opened the door to a new way of thinking and seeing the world around us. Chaos theory is the branch of mathematics that focuses on exactly this kind of thinking, but its name is kind of deceiving. The butterfly effect doesn't represent chaos, but rather the effects of changing the slightest conditions and then observing the results. Think of this. It is easier to predict the orbital period of a planet in another star system 10 million years from now than it is for us to predict our own weather here on Earth just a month from today. Because in order for us to predict the weather long term, we would have to know the exact position and momentum of every molecule of air on the planet and how they interact with each other. For planetary orbits, it's just a lot easier, there's a lot less variables. Any university physics student could probably calculate it. As for the weather, a butterfly flapping its wings creates a minuscule and almost unnoticeable change in atmospheric pressure. But these changes compound over and over and over as time progresses, until, as widely known, the butterfly's wings cause a tornado in Texas. This inevitable growth of errors is called deterministic chaos, chaos that can be determined, measured. However, the butterfly itself cannot cause a tornado. The butterfly represents an unknowable quantity. We can never reverse engineer an event to find out what exactly tipped the system, there's just too many factors that could have gone into it. No choice you've ever made has been an isolated event. It's like a domino effect that keeps compounding over time. The world and society is like a network, and when a certain part of that network fails, it affects everything else. Chaos theory isn't random, even though it seems like it. To prove it, let's play chaos game. 
take a piece of paper and make three points like such. We'll label them A, B, and C. Now, choose a random point in the middle of those three points. We'll just put it right here. Now, all you have to do is make a point halfway between your starting point and point A. From this point, make a point halfway between here and point B. Repeat the process for point C and continue this pattern, rotating between points A, B, and C. If you do this for long enough, you'll see something interesting start to happen. As more and more generations of these points are drawn, an image starts to emerge. From seemingly random points being drawn, from chaos, from disorder, this complex yet orderly figure shows its face. From drawing a few points and following certain rules, chaos can form order. It's a fractal, there are infinitely complex patterns that are self-similar across any scale. This shows that, with enough time, random actions can have serious long-term effects. The butterfly effect isn't exactly how you'd expect science to be. Physics, math, and many other scientific fields are based on predictability. You know, predicting the orbit of planets in order to send satellites and probes there. Or predicting the odds of an asteroid hitting the Earth. The butterfly effect is the complete opposite. It's a model that exposes the flaws in other models. It says that without a perfect knowledge of initial conditions, any prediction is basically useless. But although the butterfly effect exposes flaws in other models, it also brings to light the impact that everything, including each of us, has. Jonas Salk is credited for having found the first vaccines for polio. Had he not discovered that at the time he did, the entire population of the planet today would be vastly different. Some people wouldn't have been born. Entire family lines may have been cut off due to the lack of a vaccine. Perhaps some of the largest companies today would not have been created if it weren't for this specific event happening at this specific time. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, a Russian nuclear-armed submarine was stationed off the coast of Cuba. American ships detected the submarine and began using depth charges to signal that the submarine should surface. The crew on board, though, took these depth charges to be bombs. The captain of the ship believed that war had broke out between the United States and the Soviet Union and ordered a nuclear torpedo to be sent immediately. Everyone agreed, except for one officer, Vasily Arkhipov. Without a unanimous vote, no action could be taken, and thus World War III was prevented. This one man's decision is the reason that the United States and Russia today aren't nuclear wastelands. The butterfly effect affects everything. Do you really have control of your life? Like, everything? No, but you and I have huge effects on the world as well. The butterfly effect is not to get leverage, it's not saying that every small thing always has a big impact. If that were true, then in a way you could manipulate it. Think of it like Jenga. You take away a certain block and things can be just fine. But another block, that one special block, if removed, causes everything else to fall apart. The reality is you have no idea what thing, or what block, will change your future. So everything has a say in it. For example, you watching this video will take up about 10 minutes of your day, whether it's for a good reason or not. Could me watching a movie, or listening to a song, getting a video idea from it, researching it, writing it, editing it, and uploading it to where you see it on your YouTube feed at a specific time prevent something bad from happening to you? Maybe you watching this video prevented you from going to the store 10 minutes early, where if you had left 10 minutes ago, a car that runs a red light would smash into you in an intersection, killing you. It's a scary thought, but it's a possibility. Someone recently messaged me and said that they had saw someone watching one of my videos in their classroom right next to them. They started to talk, become friends, and now they're dating. If YouTube wasn't a platform, if I hadn't had that specific video idea, that wouldn't have happened, and maybe those two people would have never met. But it goes much further than that. Everything has led you and I to this very moment, literally everything. Because the universe exists, because the universe is expanding, and because the temperature of the universe was just right to the point that stellar nurseries can form stars, without those stars, we wouldn't have supernovas. Without supernovas, we wouldn't have iron. Without iron, we couldn't exist. Every day you breathe, I hope, and when you exhale, you exhale carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide, through the help of plants and photosynthesis, creates more oxygen. Oxygen that people hundreds of years from now might breathe. Everything you do, no matter how small it is, will change the future in one way or another. People who lived hundreds of years ago have had an effect on the world as it is today. The things you do today will ripple throughout time. The small things you create today can be the big things that the next generation builds upon. In a way, you can live forever. So the next time something big happens in your life, just think. It didn't happen by accident. 
Just as the butterfly effect suggests, everything you do today will change your future drastically. Skills you learned today could come in handy in ways you could never expect 10 years from now. Just like the fractals we talked about, one small random action can have serious implications down the road. Let Brilliant help start this domino effect. Brilliant actually helped me further understand fractals, and how the math behind it creates infinite pieces of art. They have a whole section based on the Mandelbrot set, which is what you're looking at right now. Not only do they have courses on fractals, but plenty of other topics such as logic, group theory, probability, and many more. You can take as many of these courses as you'd like with Brilliant's premium subscription. If you're one of the first 200 people to sign up using the link in the description, you'll receive 20% off your premium subscription. So go learn a new skill. You'd be surprised on where it might take you.